a good drill that I like to do for chipping is I like to work on two things, two good drills for chipping. One is where you want the ball to land, so it focuses more on landing the ball and letting the ball roll out. And the other one is where the ball should end up and where you want the ball to end up. So a good drill that I use to work on where I want the ball to land is uh, I bought a little plastic kids blue pool, fill it up with a little bit of water and I stick it out 10, 10 or so feet from me and I work and try to land the ball in the pool. That's really going to help you with the precision that you're going to need to land the ball where you want. So on a chip shot, like a, you don't want the ball to land halfway at the hole or three quarters of the hole because then it's going to release out and roll out and you're going to you know have a 20 30 footer coming back and that's not ideal so with the kids pool drill it's really going to help you focus on landing the ball you know, at the front of the green and letting it roll out the other drill is where the ball should end up on that one i like to get on a green like this and use a hula hoop or if you have spray paint or something spray paint about a three or five foot you know circle around the hole and then you try to get the ball to land inside the circle so that's more of where the ball should end up rather than where you want to land the ball on the green so two different drills helps you out with with two different thought process thought process but right now for this lesson we're going to have a little competitive drill so i'm going to give you each two shots you're just going to have two shots we're going to use the chip shot style so again Ball in the back of your stance, hands press forward a little bit. You're swinging from three o'clock to nine o'clock without breaking your wrist. And we're gonna try to get the ball to end up inside those orange sticks around the hole. It's about three feet. They say, you know, if you can land the feet and get the ball three feet in the hole, it's a gimme. You can tap it in and go on to the next hole. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll all hit. Take your time, take a little practice swings if you need. And then, um, We'll go, when everybody's ready, we'll, we'll do one shot, watch the results, and then we'll hit another shot and see if we can beat, see if we can beat our original chip shot. So if you ladies are ready, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and hit the first ball. chip shots all right so now you kind of got a feel for the green which way the ball is going to break now and how it's going to come out of the rough so let's uh let's do second ball here and see if we can improve on the second ball whenever you're ready As you can see there, okay, I think we did improve on our second on our second ball. But again, that's a good, fun, a little competitive drill that you can do, you know, not only with other people but with yourself. Okay, so my first chip shot rolled 20 feet by. My next chip shot is only 15. Okay, that's improvement. Okay, that's something that you should be happy about. It's improvement. See if you can keep improving every time that you take a chip. You know, every time that you practice, you should always try to improve. All right, so that's a good fun drill that we can use for chipping. And uh, we'll work on, we'll switch over and, and we'll work on pitching now, all right? 